Good morning, folks. We'll go over the updated data on the CME launched yesterday morning. It is indeed headed for Earth. We'll look at an interesting article with kind of a crazy concept about the universe and end with hard data on solar, geomagnetism, and pain. We're starting with our star and find the last 24 hours on the sun was much quieter. No big flares or additional CME events of note. We have the coronal holes crossing through center disk here today and sending faster solar wind our way. Keeping that stream enhancement in mind here, we find the C3 coronagraph frame showing that CME we began investigating yesterday morning. The northern aspect of it definitely appears to be heading this way, and we can confirm that telemetry with the Enlil spirals. NASA's here shows a slow-moving event with impact forecast on the 8th. It's probably a solid trajectory, but a bit slow in terms of timing it is more likely that NOAA's Enlil spiral has the timing correct, which puts it late on the 7th and basically combines with the approaching coronal hole stream. At this point, we can't tell if they will hit together or as a one-two punch, which would enhance the geo-effectiveness, but even in their most geo-effective scenario, it would not produce geomagnetic storm conditions up to scary levels. We will, of course, monitor that solar wind and the corona itself for more eruptive activity, Sunspot groups are numerous but small, yet each does have the potential to develop a bit more complexity as they turn across heliographic longitudes. Interesting story out about time dilation. They say that time moved much more slowly in the early universe, and that means time is speeding up now. These concepts are challenging to comprehend when you dig into the science, and I'd love to get your thoughts on this in the comment section today. Lastly here, folks, this is more up the observer's alley. Certainly not the first time we've seen it, but this is an excellent deep dive and confirmation that pain and related negative health outcomes are impacted by weather and by solar and geomagnetic activity. Both these new papers are in today's link list. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.